What's good, you two? Final 20 minutes. Scotland and Argentina is 13 points to 13. Unlucky for some, I know. But it's a close game. It's a very fucking close game. So we're going to fucking crack on with this right now. Come on, Scotland. Come on, Scotland. Come on, come on, Scotland. Is we will just play on, so for better the scum half, replacing scum half will have to dig away for the ball, and that's Scotland have the scrum. Yeah, it's a ball, just like a chalk tackle. Tony Gray did wonderful well to get in there on the wrong side of the ball, I feel like immediately. And there's all the rights in the world to be there. Well, they're off and half the Argentinian attack run back to get into the position. You need to make sure you have the ball first and foremost. So into the final quarter of this match, and 13 points apiece. Again, a reminder in terms of world rankings that Scotland looking to move above Argentina into the top eight for the victory here. Tony Gray is such a, an impressive player, isn't he? He does everything really, really well. He carries, he tackles, big interventions and games like that. And a wonderful, wonderful talent. He's a nuisance as well. You know, against other forwards, he's, he's very annoying. He irritates a lot of packs to play against. Him. Well, a big strong. And we'll do it again. Yeah, 24 tackles from 24 last week, uh, Johnny Grant. Stephen Moore was the same, but he's, I, he is almost always the top tackler in, in any... He's in a top of all stats. Last week, I think he had something like 23 carries. He also had something like 17 or 18 passes. So that could have been almost 40 carries, 12 tackles. He's on a, an incredible, I think, three-figure run of consecutive tackles for his club at Glasgow. It's over 100 tackles without missing one. He just sets examples, he leads by example, and he's a wonderful talent, a wonderful player. And again, the pressure on the Scotland scrum here. And you can see that pressure on Scotland in all sorts of trouble at the scrum, the penalty to Argentina, and that was an absolute demolition job in the Scottish scrum there by Argentina. Personnel have changed in the past. And you can see it's a far more uneven contest now. It is, and much of the ones we were criticising Ferguson earlier on, he was going down in the scrum, but you have to have your body height right if you're not in the right position. You get pushed back at all. The way Argentina used to scrum and the way they scrum still is the second they snip a tiny bit of weakness, they chase every single bit of this. Look at the whoosh again here, just at the pressure. It's up high on the on the loose head side and our tight head side, and then bang, in you go. That's why Scotland uh, miss this way. They'd love to have sort of Xander Ferguson as the backup to, to Villanelle for WP Nell, who's still struggling a little bit with the neck injury, although not too far away from coming back, but makes a huge difference to the, the scrum. And you need to have that depth. And uh, Argentina have decided to go for the posts and Sanchez to try and take the lead. There's another easy swipe there, beautifully struck by Sanchez and Argentina in front. I, I think Scotland almost would Argentina would in front now, are they? Alright. Sorry, I was applying to a Snapchat, it was so. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Use the light, use the light, you, find you. Good <laughs> kick. We're just giving us celebrations at the three points and didn't know what was happening at the restart. That was a rare mistake at the restart from Argentina. Yes, it's such a big space and Finn Russell finds it so, so well. Yeah, I can only think it's maybe down to substitutions at Senatoris came on. He's maybe lined up as often he used to play in the back row or the second row. Sunday's not fulfilled the duties and picked up the position. Yeah. Well, Scotland have to can't avoid scrums and use the other set pieces well but it goes oh, long no. and Argentina come away and Scotland a new shirt to what are you Falcon. doing lads a mistake by Scotland reprieves Argentina by Martin Hernandez will give it a little blind pass there that didn't work well so Scotland have it and come again through Laidlaw out it goes Dell is there Blackley on hand and Blackley will try and take it on but he's well watched and rolled to the ground but Scotland given another opportunity, and Russell, who's had a quieter game, he's been well watched by the Argentinian defence. And Sanchez told he can't get in there because he's down on one knee. 
out to Johnny Gray. Two or three bodies quickly on him. There is uh, Ryan Wilson. Trying to get it back. And slowly there for Laidlaw to look and give it on to Gilchrist. And Gilchrist with uh, Murray Low. Carried on by Johnny Gray, almost into his own man. And Peter Horn, who is on the field. Still there for Scotland, but uh, Murray Low going the hit there. And Argentina just touching Scotland back and uh, turning this one over perhaps no carried in by uh, Hamish Watson now. Nothing much doing attack here for Scotland though. The gang of forwards carried him through Barkley. And then Fraser Brown. The Argentinian defence is up so quickly. Fraser Brown lays it back. Scotland looking for something to happen. An opening to appear. Murray Lowe shoves it out wide and carried in by Barkley again. Advantage to Scotland. A penalty is there for them. So Hart, a little step and Hart on the oh. And Hart now with the goal support, bums it from Horn. Horn not to within seven metres of the line. Scotland still with the advantage, Gilchrist. And suddenly the pace as the left forward files in. Out to comes to Hart again, trying to skip his way through a forest of defenders. Still there for Scotland, Laidlaw. But he's thrown back. Scotland still, although the referee hasn't said still, with the advantage. And carried in. Laid back now, and Watson is there. Watson stays on his feet and then follows his way on. Up to within five metres. Still advantage, penalty there to Scotland. As they were bearing down on the line. Number two. Fell on the wrong side, not wrong. And you see Cravey, Augustine Cravey, the captain. Well, not moving away, falling on the wrong side. So close, there's not a lot in this game. That's a really good set of attack from Scotland. I thought they could have moved the ball a little bit quicker a couple of times in this phase. He got to 16 odd phases. And if you are the second half has held my interest. The, yes, the fact that the first half was quite uh, bland means that we've ended up with quite a, a nail bite on the finish. From Scotland, where they were total change in, this, in the last five minutes, and they badly need to play at that pace. They had a, a penalty advantage there. We saw Argentina's try, Argentina's try from a penalty advantage. Do you think there's so little in the game that's that's a cue for the, the teams to come alive and attack? It's a bit of a freebie. They have to go for it. So, sort of goal for Greg Laidlaw. Fraser Brown's uh, going to come off as well after this kick, and Ross Ford going to come on and hook up for Scotland. Go on, Scotland. And up it goes from Laidlaw and Ford, taking it right as Seymour, and he really is a master in the air. Isn't there too much else to do in the game? And Laidlaw picks this some space back there over the head of Joaquin Tukalak, but it's going to bounce too far, too far, or not quite. Well placed, and here it comes. And Juan Martin Hernandez seems to buy himself a little bit of time. Look comfortable. Seymour takes it. Russell now into Hall. And Hogg is what's on, so then that familiar step from Hogg. Acceleration, and Hogg almost through, gets the offer to Midland, who is flung to the ground by Cordero. Great tackle by the winger. Back it comes for Scotland still, through Wilson to the ground, to Laidlaw. Fine, says the referee, as uh, Peter Horn jumps into a challenge. Carried in by Murray Lowe. Yes, he's good. Still there for Scotland, and 
Riddler gets things going again. Wilson once more is driving his way on. Little calls for Scotland. Gilchrist comes in to pick up and drive himself on the lock forward. Barkley. Johnny Gray. The greatest pass, but he took it well enough. Drive on once more. Wilson is there and Laidlaw looks and feeds Gray and he to his second row partner Gilchrist. Scotland moving through the phases again, a switch from Laidlaw and Russell, a little show and then gives it on to Watson. No danger as Argentina counter to the left, sends it long and the frantic race back is there. Hall, here's Cordero with him and Hall does well but Cordero quickly upon the full back and Hall says he's calling and against the penalty as a Catherine. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant by Stuart Hogg and, st and stupid by the Argentinian player. Hogg stayed down deliberately to almost milk that penalty, knowing he has to be allowed um, to get back up. And uh, it was just a daft one with all, the, with all the momentum going against Scotland. It, is, it's, <laughs> it must be so frustrating as an Argentinian to see that coaches and players are like, you want to make. You know, as a chaser, you want to be imposing, you want to get up and win the ball, but Hoggy knows exactly what he's doing. So he has a little glance, doesn't he? No, Cordero's there. And you know, he's got all the rights until he makes the effort to get back to his feet. He has to do all of that. The losses immediately. But he buys it, bobs himself half the second. Cordero, that's the only thing. It's it's so quick for Cordero there, because Hogg is lightning and he was making ground. A lot of changes coming on at the moment. Argentina, you hear a couple of changes in the, uh, in the pack. I see that. Uh, Santiago Garcia Rota is on. Agustin Crevy is also Julian Montoya. A right, couple of changes for Argentina now. Just under 10 minutes to go. So the change there Level game at the moment. Scotland in position. So come on, lads. Come on, lads. Changes made. I wonder how that will affect. Uh, Sorry, I'm just getting fucking shit into fucking Snapchat to say. So Tim Swinson is on in his place. And this is when, the, again, the squad, squad depth tells because nine minutes to go, 16 points apiece. Who is the better reserves? Good drive on by Scotland this time. And uh, Wayne Wilson holding at the back. He's been impressive since he's come on. Laidlaw in to add a few kilos. Now gives it to Russell. Russell, huge pass out right to Hogg. A little bit of a slip as well from the running in defence for Argentina. Hogg tries to hand off one and make his way around another up to the fringes of the 22. Russell again in Scotland. Moving well now through Ross Ford. Still there for Scotland. Laidlaw making sure the referee knows. Ryan Wilson slapping bodies that he feels shouldn't be there. Peter Horn taken down well. Scotland looking for what they hope will be a killer try. Good tackle coming in on Ryan Wilson. <coughs> Much more of a buzz around Murrayfield now. Scotland going through the phases. Can they find the, the killer move? Hamish Watson again. He makes such ground. He wouldn't expect him to, but driving his way past Rock Ford and Amano there. Come Scotland again. A little bit of a spill. Went backwards, says the referee. Oh, Laidlaw did so well to just scoop that up into the hands of Barkley. Argentina set their defence again. Seven and a half minutes remaining. Back it goes. Drop goal attempt for Finn Russell. Takes his time and it's wide. It's wide. Ah, no. 22. It was worth it though, it was worth a crack. Finn Russell will be frustrated, I think they locked the position well. Arguably they could have taken two or three more phases, given themselves a little bit more time. Never went to the drop goal option a little bit too soon. It was a good position, and he just slid it up to the right hand side, just outside that right hand post, under a little bit of pressure. But a good attack by Scotland, good, good continuity. But I think he could have had a little bit more patience there. Yeah, it just seemed to be a little bit too early, you know, he could have attacked a couple of more. Uh, options yeah. just to try and see if you could pull some people out of place. Could have, would have, should have. Just give us with them. Oh, yeah, they, they went for what they went. Just give us an Argentina breather, a chance to take stock because all the momentum was with Scotland. 
carried in by Ryan Wilson again. Had to go off early the match against Australia last week with a, an injury. And Ross Ford carrying three or four men with him. Good drive by Paul Argentina trying to hold him up. Pablo Matera doing the work there and he might have held him up. And the decision is gone to Argentina. And they knew it there. Matera was in the, at the base of the was there. Ford did such good work initially. But then that is the classic sort of choke tackle. But holding the man up, making sure he can't get to ground. What? Yeah, it's so strong. Great carry initially by Ross Ford, is it? And Alex Allen is joining us now in the front row, maybe to, to counteract the changes in the Argentina front row. Here's it, the, the ground made initially by Ford, and it's Matera, you can see him working really hard, he gets his feet and his legs underneath Ross Ford. And it's all about when the referee calls more, when that tackle becomes a more. It's extraordinary by, by uh, Matera. To be able to hold him up, he's in a position to go to ground and still hold him up. The man coming on for Argentina now is Jeronimo de la Fuente. So he comes on in the back line. You see, because he can play a few positions, so he's replacing Matias Moroni, the winger. Well, that's to be one of the best names in international rugby, Geronimo de la Fuente. It is a... Uh, not far from the end now. Six minutes left. Well, here we are, just over five minutes remaining in this match. So many changes, the benches have just about been empty. You always feel for Ali Price, the Scotland backup scrum half, because he's the one replacement who you suspect won't get used because Laidla, Laidla always stays until the bitter end. So Ali Price waiting for his debut, the young scrum half. And how will the scrum fare with all these changes? <laughs> on to the back by Kubeli. We're solid for a moment from Scotland. Well, Scott, yeah. He really did have the upper hand. Oh. A bit now. So Kubeli, oh, yes, you've got to put the legs up. I know you can't see my face at the moment, but so lively in this I don't give a fuck, I need my legs up. Needs to have a little bit of a rest. Legs up. Johnny Gray has chopped around the ankles. Good tackle by Juan Manuel Leguizamo, very experienced back row. Give it on to Finn Russell, flings it deep now to Hogg, Hogg, a little chip over the top and it might be, well, it's reasonably well placed and all the It's carried into touch, and it was Scotland's line out. And they're giving themselves the platform, the opportunity near Scotland to win this game. Yeah, that came from a turnover by Hamish Watson, I think. Sanchez, well, he doesn't have an argument here, I think he's saying his boot was already over the line, we can clearly see he's slid in. This is Watson's turnover. So quick in and Hernandez, and then Stuart Hawk decided to kick from this rock to put all the pressure back on the Argentina. Now, liners for Scotland are beginning to look a little bit uh, suspect, perhaps noise around Murrayfield extremely against Swinson takes it down, and down it goes. Penalty advantage to Scotland. So, again, a free attack here now for Scotland. Uh, nothing coming there, so penalty, and it will be surely one decision. Go for the kick, boys. Go for it. So there is the instruction tackling the lifter, is the Leonardo Senatore giving the talking to. You have to wait for the, the jumper to hit the ground, and the second he hits the ground, you can pull down the jumper or the lifter in by way of a tackle. If you do it before he hits the ground, it becomes a penalty. It's a technical error, but a really simple error to make in this place in the field, and you need composure, and Argentina have showed none. Well, as a man who kicked a few, uh, kicked a few goals for Scotland in your time, Chris Patterson, you, you always felt that this corner down here was a little bit uh, mischievous as well at Murrayfield. Yeah, that was uh, usually because he stands a little bit lower than the west stand, that far away side, that there's a bit of wind whistles around here, it's a dead calm this evening. A crisp, sorry, early winter's night, and Greg Ladle's knocked over a, a conversion from a, that area of the field already, and he'll be using that to give him all the knowledge to try and stroke this over. Well, he landed it in a very, very tight position, the conversion right out in the touchline. This one fractionally easier, this one to give Scotland the lead. Too much, too much perhaps, it's coming well and off the course again, but who's quickest to it now? Scotland trying to react, trying to get that ball. 
Greg Laidlaw was crossing his lip. Same upright that he hit against Australia, but it's there for Scotland now. And still a chance to win this match so close. It might be a drop goal opportunity. Finn Russell sitting deep, sitting in the pocket. Laidlaw looking to forward, but he knows it's for Russell. Not this time, not yet. Johnny Gray. A little bit of diversion from Laidlaw. The Argentinians waiting for the charge down in the drop goal attempt. Forwards carry it in, two minutes to go. Russell still there, still deep. Forwards again. Argentina desperate for the turnover. It might be now Laidlaw. Russell not quite as deep, but here it is this time, and the charge down is there. And now Scotland have to get back, and Ryan Wilson's there along with Horn. No. Oh, he's Scotland. Players pouring in, still with Scotland. But the scrum goes to Argentina, and the opportunity may have been lost. Oh he was, God. he wasn't quite as deep. I know he's trying to give himself the best uh, territorial position there, but it was a great charge for uh, uh, Look at look at the pressure, Senatore in his hand as well. I think he's got it. <laughs> I know it's easy sitting here, but arguably that was too late. The drop ball attempt earlier on was maybe too soon. I think they could have maybe gone that maybe a phase or so earlier, but there's still time in this game. Well, it's time uh, to do in this uh, these frenetic final moments, man of the match. Yes. Well, well, again, very difficult to call this week. I think from Argentina's side, Landajo has been, uh, he sets a tempo. Matera has always done well, but that man in the middle of the screen, I think for me, fights off. Famous Watson for man in a match. Johnny Gray starts at all as outstanding. He leads by example. You can still see him communicating his number of tackles, his number of carries, and just his influence around the park is second to none for next man in a match, Johnny Gray. Well, the injured man is, uh, is Peter Horn, who's involved for the, the chase back went there after the charge there. So Peter Horn in the clear discomfort. Of course, uh, again, as it was last week as well, there was a, the penalty itself that hit the post. Yeah, there was, <laughs> as Greg put his own words, a little pain last week, that's a core pain. Look at that anguish. <laughs> oh, what does it mean to the supporters? How much influence can they have? Greg's frustrated, but he, well, he must believe there's another opportunity to win this game. You can't let these things stop you. Got to believe there's another opportunity to put pressure on this gun. Argentina, well, they'll be looking to break out and win the game again. Peter Horton is off. I think now, I will give this check as well that a, a draw, I think, would move Scotland above Argentina. But again, we'll look for confirmation of that. This is where Peter Horton took the injury. I think it was a, well, three Argentinians upon him, but I think the right, maybe Ryan Wilson, his uh, challenge with his own man might have injured him. It's a dead leg, isn't it? The dead leg on his upper thigh, but. As I said before, this, both teams must see this as an opportunity to win the game. And how you attack, how you defend can influence that. So Argentina throw everything into this scrum, looking for the penalty perhaps, and uh, Who's it? not giving it's way moving. yet. Use it, says the referee. So out it comes from Kubeli to Sanchez. And to Juan Martin Hernandez trying to ease his way past Finn Russell. Russell looking to hold him up, and Hernandez looking to get to ground. There it is for, well, no, it's Scrum to Scotland, and the second still... still Come on, Scotland. Ten seconds. Yeah, uh, two, five seconds. Three, two, one. Allow the Scrum. Allow it. Allow it. Come on, Scotland. Come on. That's your glass. Set up. You know, set up. It's set up, edge of the seat time. If you're Scottish, it's a squeaky bum time for you guys. And this will be interesting. And now, since the change has been in the front row, the last two push cups have been reasonably stable, so it should be a good attacking opportunity for Scotland. Will Argentina pile on the pressure? Looks to be buckling down, but the referee will say use it. So away they come, Finn Russell there now for Scotland and wide it goes. Come on Scotland. By Tommy Seymour, Seymour sliding his way towards the 22, still there for Laidlaw. Gives it on, Johnny Gray is there, again he's taken round the bootlaces. And Argentina trying to stick paws into this rut. 
Laidlaw summoning in support and Scotland trying to buy a position again perhaps for a drop goal attempt and Argentina have to obey the every instruction of the referee they want to give away a penalty Laidlaw again looking Scotland once more going through the phases Scotland have been here before as they were last week. Deep into their time and the advantage is there. The penalty is there for Come on, Scotland. They got the ability. Back here. Right, come on, Lego. Put it away. Put it away. It's just a low tackle, but you can see his left arm. The rough comes after the contact. It has to be simultaneous. Leading with his shoulder, his elbow. Well, when we're looking for where your elbow is, his elbow's beside his body. And who can't, well, head coach, he can't look. We said Greg Lee will have an opportunity to hit. Come on, Lee, Here we go. This is your chance to win it. This match there. But here it is. I mean, that tackle will be looked at, but look at that analysis afterwards again, I'm sure, because how Juan Manuel de Guizamon certainly felt hard done by, but fingernails even through gloves are being chewed and laid low now to win this match for Scotland. Come on, Laidlaw. Come on. Come on, lad. Come on. Beautiful! Yes! Yes, Scotland! Fucking right! Congratulations, Scotland! You have moved ahead of Argentina in the world rankings. Congratulations! Here you go, I raise a can to you. Fucking brilliant, lads. Brilliant. What? Right, well, I'm not going to say what a game because the first half was pretty bland. Second half, better, better, but I wish the first half was like it. But we had a nail biter. We had a fucking nail biter. But Scotland, you fucking done it. You fucking done it, you madden. Fucking maddens. Right, let's, let's, have a, let's have a look at other scores now from the other games. And uh, before I end this right here, because this is the final part. This this really is the final part of the final game that I'm gonna to react to tonight. So we're gonna have a look. We're gonna have a look. I know some games haven't started yet, so it's unfortunate, but you know it is what it is. Right for some reason it's still oh no, oh no, I gotta refresh the page. Oh all oh, right well for the trouble of everything to do with the u.s tonga game of that i can actually bring you the final result fucking hell tonga 20 the united states of america 17. don't be too disheartened states all right rugby is not your sport you're not very you know i wouldn't say you're bad at it there are plenty of teams worse at it than you. But when you go up against any Southern Hemisphere inside, any team from Europe, you're out you're outclassed every time. You really do need to invest in some uh you know, some rugby. You know, some rugby in the lower you know, at the young age, like you do with football, like you know, like Pee Wee football or whatever it is fucking called over there. But you need to invest at that age to really get onto the level that everyone else is. But anyway, at the moment, it's still it's saying Island 6, New Zealand 14. Come on, Island, you beat them once. You beat them once, you can do it again, boys. You can fucking do it again. France and Australia kicks off at 8 o'clock. We're an hour away. We're an hour away from that. We're not going to focus on that much. 
Wales, England, Italy, Georgia, Tonga, Scotland, the victors today. Good result, boys. Good result for you. England outclass Fiji the best at the moment. Of course, we don't know what's going to happen with France and Australia. And we don't know what's going to happen with Ireland and uh, New Zealand yet. You never know. You know, but uh, yeah, good, good fucking games of rugby that's been going on today. Scotland, congratulations. You got a win. Good on you, boys. You should have won last week, but this week is a good enough for you. Anyway, that was the final part of the Scotland versus Argentina game. And I shall catch you again. I'll catch you later, YouTube. Peace.